Hey, what's up, everyone? How you doing? It's me, Mr. 4 k Upscaler. So, uh, a lot of you been asking me on the forums and on the Twitter and Facebook, a lot of you been asking me, hey, how come now you're just doing 4K HDR? You know, what happened? Why are you making this transition to 4K HDR? Because not many people can actually watch in 4K HDR. They don't have the internet speed or capabilities to do so and I don't honestly think that's true I think uh, the internet speed has been affordable to 150 I think the basics that you get from majority of uh, internet service provider it's like at least 70 to 150 megabits per second and uh, you can get a pretty good deal for 150 megabits per second so I don't think it's without uh, I think it is within the reach for you guys to be able to watch this in 4k HDR and if you haven't upgraded your internet speed I think you should because I firmly believe that it's time that the YouTube videos are in 4k and HDR I firmly believe that because it's 2019 and uh, if you haven't already purchased a 4K HDR TV, if you haven't already upgraded your uh, internet speed, then I think you should do it. I think it's time. It's 2019. Uh, 1080p, it's an, it's an old news, guys. Uh, I, can't, I can't help myself, but when I see these half a million, one million, 2 million, 5 million, 10 million subscribers out there shoot their videos in 1080p with a low bit rate and I have to laugh my ass off because really you have 20 million subscribers but you cannot put out 4k 60 FPS with the highest possible bit rate you're trying to tell me with, with the kind of cash you're making with 20 million uh, subscribers you can't afford to buy a proper equipment to upload your videos in 4k and HDR and I think it's time that people switch to 4k and HDR now granted we cannot stream yet in 4k okay me personally technically I could stream in 4k but the problem is the YouTube does not allow me to stream in 4k the highest resolution I can stream it's 1440p currently on YouTube. So what you're looking at here is Detroit Become Human. Uh, I'm not just using Detroit Become Human for any specific particular reason. It's just because I like the graphics of the game. And I think the best way for you to appreciate the graphics of this game if you haven't played it and you're thinking about buying it it's by you looking at the highest possible bitrate 4k now what I'm recording currently it's a hundred megabits per second uh, 4k video here just because I have my camera in front of me now this green screen is there in case I want to do a, a green screen to do some uh, background uh, video where you can see me fit in in the video but I'm not doing that currently you know right now so if you truly want to appreciate what these games are bringing to the table graphically the best way to appreciate that it's by watching it in the highest possible bitrate if you watch these videos in the highest possible bitrate in 4K and HDR, then you will understand why they look so great. Okay, I've seen Spider-Man videos. I have seen uh, God of War videos, but they're all uh, compressed, heavily edited, heavily compressed. Uh, videos and you really can't tell the the detail you really can't say oh I see the difference no you can't tell a difference okay the only way you can tell a difference is if somebody like me because I'm the only one doing it 
apparently I'm the only one doing it, uploads 293 megabits per second bitrate with 4K resolution and HDR. Okay, that's the only way that you can see the difference, okay, between the PlayStation 4 Pro or the Xbox One X version, okay? That's the only way you can see that detail because remember to appreciate the graphics you gotta have number one a high resolution meaning higher detail brings that high resolution means more pixels brings higher detail and you need high resolution to see the detail of the graphics okay if you want to see Kara in detail you gotta have a high resolution okay if you wanna see her facial expressions and everything you gotta have that higher detail now to achieve that you obviously you're gonna have to record in a 4k resolution but it's not just the resolution that you need to record on you also need to encode the maximum bitrate so that way when you have a maximum bitrate then the image and the resolution stays intact stays the same so everything looks seemingly fluid okay does this make sense I don't, I don't know is this make sense to you guys uh, hopefully you guys some of you are an understanding what I'm trying to do here people say but I don't have the internet speed I don't think I will be able to see this in its true uh, you know originality and I'm like look here's the deal majority of the uh, internet providers cable providers they give you 70 MPBS basics that's 70 megabits per second now for $89 you can have 150 megabits per second and 150 megabits per second it's all you're going to need to see and, and stream and see this in 4k now I do recommend that you don't use the Wi-Fi unless you got a very powerful router what I do recommend it's cat 7 Ethernet cable that's connected through your modem directly to your television back of your television Ethernet port and that's how you're going to truly get that steady bitrate all right and, and here's the thing when I start doing these videos guys you are going to appreciate you're going to appreciate more and more you will appreciate the detail the detail of this character uh, the Resident Evil 2 you will see oh now I know why I need to purchase a 4k version now I know why the HDR is a big deal now I know why the Xbox One X uh, with native 4k gives me a much better detail with HDR with or whatever you will be able to see the difference between the two different versions of the game and that's what I'm trying to do I want to give you guys that uh, comparison detail because no one's doing it digital foundry people say why are you criticizing digital foundry look I'm criticizing them for a reason because they're not doing what I'm doing what they're basically doing is they're profiting money off of people they're asking people to subscribe to their website, pay five dollars a month, okay, just so you so you can view the 4K and the HDR videos. I'm not charging you, and yet I'm giving you for free the maximum bitrate, which Digital Foundry is not doing. Digital Foundry it's not uploading 60 gigabyte videos with the HECV I am the only geezer the only geezer out of my own pockets that's doing that and I know this is gonna rub some people the wrong way but let it rub you the wrong way I'm the only one that's doing it right now 
just like I was the only one that was uh, doing the videos about the television back in 2015 and the 4K television and the Xbox One S and the upscaling. I was the only geezer that was doing it. Okay? That's a fact. Alright? That's not just me, <coughs> you know, talking uh, out of my butt. That's the fact, guys. I mean, this game is beautiful. <clears throat> this game is very beautiful. I love David Cage games. I love Quantum Dream uh, and what they're doing. I'm sure we used to be friends before I was reset. Maybe we can be friends again. So now you will know when you're watching this video, you will understand why you need to watch these videos in, in, in the best possible detail. Okay. Your father said you chose my name. Kara, it's nice. And that's honestly my goal. That's my goal to bring you guys all of the videos in 4K and HDR. It's time. What about your mother? Will she be home soon? You should tell me about yourself. What you like to do, where you like to go, your favorite foods. That would Because really I believe that this year, 2019, it is time that I bring you guys all of my videos in 4K and HDR. And even my television videos will be in 4K 60. So, yes, I'm probably now the only guy that's doing this. But I don't mind. Let me be the first guy to pave the road. Let me be the first guy to influence other people to start uploading in 4K HDR. If I can do it, everybody else out there, especially these big YouTubers, sponsored YouTubers, you can do it. Yes, you can do it. And I hope you're watching this video. I hope you get encouraged to start pumping out more 4K HDR videos because it's time 1080p it's an old news and don't even get me started with 720p if I see a 720p video that's it man I'm just simply blocking that channel I'm not watching that crap okay I will never feed my television 720p it's time to say goodbye to 1080p it is time it is time to say goodbye to 1080p it is time to say hello to 4k and HDR Okay, we're going to have, what, 11 more months till we reach 2020. 2020, and if you're still watching 1080p, and it's 2020, then seriously, I don't want to talk to you. You need to upgrade to 4K, and the videos should be in 4K HDR. All right, Mr. 4K Upscaler, thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you later. Cheers. Yes, even this video was in 4K, because I'm all about 4K.